Hello, Joseph Adenuga here, welcoming you to Prevailing Life. This is the Prevailing Life Hour on YouTube. Now the title of today's message is Walking in Dominion. Dominion is the power and ability to rule over situations and circumstances. Dominion is the grace to have the last say in any matter that has to do with you. Dominion is ruling over your territory. They call it dominion because there is always a domain. A domain is a place where you have sphere of influence. And so when you can rule that domain, then you can be truly said to be a man or woman of dominion. Now, how do you work in dominion? In this presentation, I'm going to talk about three things, three ways to work in dominion. The first thing to work in dominion, you must know your God. Daniel chapter 11 verse 32 says, Those that know their God shall be strong and they, that should, they, they shall do exploit. And when you know your God, you are strong. There is a strength and power that comes from knowing God. Because is it truly what you know is what you are known for. What you know is what you master. If you know how to drive, you become a driver. When you know something, you become master. Knowledge brings mastery. And so when you know God, you become God. When you know the word of God, you exhibit the power of God. The knowledge of God brings the power of God into manifestation in your life. So to walk in dominion, the first thing to do is to know God. And you cannot know God without be becoming his child. The first step to knowing God is to give your life to Jesus as your Lord and Savior. After doing that, then the power to know God is going to come. The Bible says, as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. Now, when you receive him, you have that power. The second thing to, to work in dominion is to use the word of God. The word of God is the power of God. The word of God is the work of God. God works by his word. And so when you are in command of the word of God, you will be in command of situations. When you know the word of God and you proclaim the word of God, you will walk in dominion. Nobody can walk in dominion who does not know the word of God. Because the word of God rules over everything. When God speaks, it is done. God's word is miracle. And so to walk in dominion, you need the word. The third thing you need to walk in dominion, according to this presentation, is boldness. Boldness is the ability to go ahead in spite of your fear. I give you the example of David. When David got to the battlefield and saw Goliath boasting, every man of Israel was afraid, including Saul. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 11, that Saul and all the men of Israel were greatly afraid of Goliath. But there's one thing about David that differentiated him from every man in Israel. That was boldness. Boldness is the power that ensures the delivery of your dominion over your territory. When you exhibit boldness, the enemy must bow down. David faced Goliath, just a young boy of 17, and brought Goliath down because he knew his God and because he knew the word of his God and because he exhibited boldness. If you exhibit boldness, and I, I can assure you today, no matter what you face, you will have dominion. Your dominion will be sound. There is no doubt about it. So that's it today. Thank you for listening. Come again tomorrow to this channel and be blessed with fresh message from the Lord. Be blessed and remain blessed in Jesus' name.